Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about latest changes which has happened in the life cycle methods and we will talk about the latest life cycle set of methods and different phases like mount phase, update phase and unmount phase. Okay. So I will just go to that particular slides which has this diagram which is talking about what is the new set of life cycle methods now we are going to use and it is divided into three parts mount update and unmount and there may be error handling you will be doing so in the mounting phase we have removed the component will mount component will update and component will receive props if you remove these three methods and try to put this get derived state from props somewhere before render we are good so here you can say we have a constructor then get derived state from props then render and then component did did mount this is the life cycle phase for initial rendering of a component then we are moving to the update life cycle whenever you are doing force update or whenever you are doing this dot set state or whenever you are adding new props to a component sending new props to a component then get derived state from props should component update render get snapshot before update and component did update something like this if you are doing this dot set state directly it is going to should component update which can actually decide do we want to render it or not if should component update lifecycle method is returning false that means no re-rendering will happen after this okay if yes then render get snapshot before update component did update force update will override this should component update behavior it will always force the component to render whatever we have done so it will force for the rendering process render get snapshot before update component did update so this is what is happening in the update life cycle three things can happen you are updating a state or you are updating a props new props are coming sorry you when new props is coming we can't update props it's just new props we are getting from the parent component then get derived state from props should component update render same life cycle if you are updating the state then should component update render get snapshot before update did update when you are forcing it then we are actually skipping should component update directly going to the render get snapshot before update and component did update and when you are actually removing the component from the DOM node then component will mount is getting triggered so these are divided into three different parts initialization mounting updations and unmounting same diagram uh, I now now I think we are at in the good shape at least from the name perspective we have mounting phases we are uh, writing constructor to initialize the state maybe get derived state from props here what we can do is if we are receiving any props from the parent component we wanted to do something with that props and our internal state we can do then render and then component did mount component did mount is happening after rendering process so if you wanted to make an XHR call, then component did mount is a good candidate. Then updating, you update the state. It will again come to get derived state from props. Get derived state from props is actually a layer which will trigger whenever you are actually updating the life cycle. So this change, you see, this is the latest one we have. Get derived state from props whenever the new props are coming, whenever the new state is coming, it is getting triggered okay it will go to should component update render get snapshot before update and component did update only the changes now get derived state from props is common will be triggered whatever you do in the update because get derived state from props is trying to return you the new state and it has a two arguments it is having state and props so it can play with internal state of a component based on the props or based on the current state okay then unmounting which is just removing the component from the DOM node okay we are just talking theoretically when we go to the code and we'll see then we will understand more about these life cycle methods you can forget what we learned in the previous video about the previous 15.x life cycle methods because now we will be working only on these new set of life cycle methods so you need to focus more here okay thanks everyone